Res Diary uses Stripe to securely store card details and take payments. This tutorial will show you how to link your diary with a Stripe account. Before you start this tutorial, it's important to make sure your payments are secure. If you will take bookings through your business website, you need to make sure it has a valid SSL certificate so that you can protect your customer's card details. If you do, it will read HTTPS in the address bar. If not, there are full details on how to obtain an SSL certificate in the video descriptor. If you're taking bookings through a booking button to resdiary.com, you're already secure. You will also have to set up a Stripe account. If you don't already have one, there are some small charges involved when you process a payment. To see these charges, click on the Stripe information page in the video descriptor. From your diary, click on settings and from the payment section, click Stripe settings. On the Stripe settings page, click the connect with Stripe button. This will open an online form. At the top right, there is a sign in button where you can log into your Stripe account. If you haven't already created an account, you can complete the form with information about your business and bank details to create your Stripe account. From your diary, click on settings and from the payment section, click new booking process payment settings. Where it reads Stripe, click the status disk so that it turns green. If it doesn't appear in the list, check that the drop down menu is set to all. When you first set up Stripe, you will automatically be in test mode. When you're ready to go live, Click Settings in your diary and from the Payment section, click Stripe Settings. Toggle on Use Live Stripe Settings and save. You have now linked your diary with Stripe. There are two ways to use Stripe with your diary, tokenization and payment. There are films with more details on this linked in the descriptor. If you're having any issues or have any questions, you can find more information about Stripe on the Knowledge Base or get support anytime by raising a ticket.